ambassador, members of the South African government, veteran volunteers, distinguished guests and friends. I say veteran volunteers because all of you in this room are now veteran volunteers. I welcome our friends from the USA and from Canada and from the UK and I especially welcome our new friends from the Congo Brazzaville. You're very welcome. It's very difficult to find words to adequately express my deepest thanks to all of you. I see in front of me 600 incredible people whose hearts are so big and whose passion is so strong to care for people, to want to make a difference in their lives. Our charity is now 10 years old very shortly. And every year at the end of our hard week's work, we have that few minutes when we hand over a house to a family on each of your teams. There were many exceptional families every year, but few stories as inspirational and poignant as the Gabenga family today. For those other teams who haven't heard the story, I just want to explain a few words about them. Robert and Florence Gabenga have three children, Aaron, Moses and Amos. When I went into their shack the other day, I saw these medals hanging from the ceiling. And I asked Robert, where did he get them? He told me he was a marathon runner. And I asked him to explain a few medals. He showed me a silver medal from the Cape Town Marathon, one of the world's most successful marathons and, and with many, many professionals who come to try and win it. He came second, a silver medal out of 12,000 people. And I asked him, what was it like to run past all the nice big fancy houses. How does that make you feel? And he didn't say anything. And then I said, what's it like coming home with your medal? And he just looked down at the ground. When he came home that night, he had no home. It had been destroyed in a fire shortly after his race. And I looked at his three beautiful children. And then Aaron, his nine-year-old son turned to face me and the left side of his face was melted from the fire that evening. And sometimes I just feel <clears throat> it's not a fraud or it's not, I don't know the word for it, but there's a man who's a champion in any other circumstance. He's already a world champion of marathons. And there he is, living and going home to live in a shack. And there is one of his sons, scarred for life now, because a shack next door went on fire. So when you go home, you take with you the most incredible strength that 500 people have had their lives changed because of each of you. And how many of those children have you protected from the fire and the wind and the rain. That is truly remarkable. Our charity has also triumphed in the face of adversity. And what should never have succeeded, as a foreigner who just came on a holiday here, no one would have believed it possible that 10 years later, we would have built homes for 100,000 South Africans. On On paper, it was an impossible ambition, but each of you made it possible by somehow coming to help, by somehow finding it in your heart to raise that money. I know that many of you have also triumphed over your personal setbacks and losses in your lives, and what a tremendous achievement on your parts that has been. And what an amazing thing to know 
that so many people's lives have changed because of you. So I say thank you for another year. I'm really heartened that so many of you have said you're going to come back next year. And I said last year that as long as a shack remains in this country, the Irish will come to pay tribute not only to the poor people who deserve our help, but to pay tribute to amazing people like Stone Susani, who have struggled for all of their adult lives to improve the lives for fellow South Africans. This is a great country, full of millions of people who want the best for all of her citizens. citizens. And sometimes just to see that a small island like ours on the other side of the world cares for them can inspire South Africa to do more herself. And she is doing lots. Over two million houses have been built since 1994. So every time the doors open in the houses that we have built, all 18 and a half thousand, I know that those people have you in their hearts. Many have said, I think of the Irish every time I put the key in my door. So well done, all of you. I'm proud of each of you, and I'm deeply, deeply, deeply grateful and humbled by all of you for what you have done. So I bid you farewell until next year, and I hope I'll see many of you again. Thank you.